Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at something called the do while loop. In the previous tutorial we looked at the while loop and basically the while loop tests a condition. Um, so there's a test condition and when that test condition evaluates to true it will run the loop. And it always tests the condition before the loop runs and will only ever run the loop if that test condition evaluates to true. Alright, so that's what a while loop is. On the other hand we have the do while loop all right, and basically that runs the loop first and then tests the condition after the loop has already run. So that means that the loop will always run at least once, even if the condition evaluates to false. So it will run the loop first, it will test the condition, if the condition evaluates to true, it will run the loop again. If it evaluates to false, then it will stop running the loop. Um, but it always runs the loop at least once, um, even if the condition evaluates to false and it tests the condition after the loop has run. Okay, so there's two sections to a do while loop. There's the do section where you specify what code you want to run during the loop. And then after that comes the while section where you specify the condition that will be tested. Okay, um, unlike a for loop, a do while loop does not have an inbuilt counter, but you can use a counter in there if you like, and that's what we'll use for this tutorial. So to start with, I'm going to create a counter variable and I'm just going to call that um, counter and I'm going to set it to zero to begin with. All right. And then I'm going to start creating the do while loop. So the syntax is a bit different to a normal while loop. It starts with do and then in curly brackets, you have the code that you want to run inside the loop. Okay. After that, you have the while section. And that just goes inside normal brackets. And that's the condition. So the condition goes here. All right, so um, the condition that I'm going to make in this do while loop is that I want this loop to run while the counter variable is less than 10. All right, so um, we've got a counter variable at the start of the program that's initialized, it's set to zero. And while this um, counter is less than 10, it's going to run the code inside this do bit. But it will always run this bit first. So it will run this loop first before checking the condition. Okay, so the code that I'm going to put inside here is basically echo dollar sign counter. So it will display the value of the counter. And then we'll just add the HTML break line break tag um, so that it will start a new line okay um, what we need to do in order for um, this loop to actually eventually break and to not have an infinite loop is to change the counter variable so we're going to increase it by one each time this loop runs so every iteration of the loop it will display the value of the counter and then it will increase the counter by one so counter plus plus all right so this Basically, before we run this, this is how it's going to work. Counter is set to zero at the beginning, beginning of the program. We come to the do section. It will echo or display the counter variable and make a new line. All right, so on the screen, you'll see zero. And then it will add one to that counter, increase it by one. So zero will become one. All right, the counter is now one. Then it will test the condition. While counter is less than 10, all right, and it evaluates to true because the counter is now one, so it's less than 10. It will then go back and do this again. All right, so it will display one, and then it, the counter will increase to two. It will test it again. Two is less than 10, so it comes back to the loop, displays two, increases two by one, so it becomes three, and so on. That's how a do while loop runs, okay? So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna to go to Chrome, refresh that um, the PHP file that I'm using and there you go so display zero test it uh, display zero makes a new line test the condition again um, or test the condition for the first time and it um, it increases it by one so now the value is one Disp it will um, display that and it will just keep testing the condition increasing the number by one and displaying it. But just remember that the difference between a while loop and a do while loop is that a while loop um, always tests a condition before the loop runs. 
So the loop will never run if the condition evaluates to false. And a do while loop on the other hand tests the condition after the loop has already run. Um, so it will always run the loop at least once, even if the condition is false. Okay, so um, that's it. You can see that once the value gets to nine, um, so the value becomes nine, it will um, test the condition and um, so it tests the condition, it's nine, um, so it will display nine, all right? Um, and then it will increase the counter by one, it becomes 10. The condition here is while the counter is less than 10 because 10 is not less than 10, it's the same. It won't um, display the value again, so we don't see the value 10, all right? It stops at nine. That's basically it for a do-while loop. Uh, thanks for watching.